Hey all, Lawrence from Lawrence Creates, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, a Unity extension that I ended up making for myself uh, that I decided I'd release to other people just in case it ends up being useful for anyone else. But it's basically an extension that will allow you to easily flick back and forth between scenes and load scenes in additively. Um, it just ended up making my workflow so much easier, so I thought, you know, it might help other people out. So when you get this um, extension loaded up, you'll get this new tab called Tools, and inside there is Easy Scene Loader. Now, when this is loaded up, you can, of course, dock it anywhere in Unity. Um, but if I wanted to, uh, for example, load into any of these scenes, I can just click on this, the bu this button um, or the Super Formula uh, or Ball thing, you know, and it, it'll load anything. Um, if I wanted to add, uh, sorry, if I wanted to load that car scene again, I can click Additive and it will load the car scene on top of whatever scene you're on, and then I can unload that scene, and I can do so with any of these. Now, one of the cool things with my extension is uh, the scenes are sort of categorized, um, and they're categorized based on the parent folder the scenes are in. So for example, if I wanted to change a category of the scene, I could create a new folder, and we could call this new scenes, for example. Now let's have car and ball scene underneath new scenes. Um, and it won't load straight away. You've got to refresh the scene list. Um, and then you have your new category here, which is new scenes. And this will load um, these scenes up just as normal, but you've now got uh, new categories. Uh, we can do that again. We can go create. Um, we can go folder. And maybe we can call this one crazy scenes and then we can put my crazy duck scene on the crazy scenes and then we can refresh the list and we have a new category there the crazy scene we have my crazy duck scene new scenes we have ball thing and car um, and then just scenes we have demo scenes samples you know things like that um, so what we can also do is if we jump into uh, the editor here if at all, you need to preload all the scenes while you're in while you're in runtime. You can click preload all scenes, like so, and that ends up loading every single scene into runtime. If that's ever something that you need to happen, now if we have a whole bunch of additive scenes opened, we also have a scene unloader, and this scene unloader will unload scenes uh, that. Uh, we're basically aren't being used. Um, and generally this is whatever scene was open last and it'll keep going down that way. So if we click unload, it'll unload a couple. If we click unload again, it'll unload and unload again. It'll unload until we're back to our original. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. This one extension has helped me organize, manage my scenes, and it's just become almost just something I use like you usually I'd go into my folders double click scenes it becomes just a real hassle but just undocking this having this on a second monitor or just leaving it you know wherever you're able to easily access it becomes super easy to man manage your scenes you don't have to tell it what folder your scenes are in it, it, it just works um so yeah I just wanted to share this little extension I made with you guys um and maybe it'll help you guys uh check it out in the asset store if uh, you're interested uh, thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next vid.